I think the government makes a good customer, but not a good venture capitalist. If you spent any time online recently, you've probably heard of Elon Musk. One of the later founders of Tesla and a true founder of SpaceX, the man is an engineering prodigy and a stellar entrepreneur. But did you know he once gambled all of his earnings? Just a reminder of how you can enter our new giveaway in which you can win a new iPhone 12 Pro or a new MacBook Pro. Just leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and watch the whole video till the end. When you say Elon, you probably think of Tesla, SpaceX, or perhaps rescuing people from caves. Indeed, the billionaire is well known for his recent career choices more than his upbringing or origins. It's no surprise that many of his followers aren't aware of choices he made early in his career. As it so happens, these choices included investing all of his money into future businesses. And when we say all of it, we mean all of it. After the transactions, Elon had to borrow money for rent. Interested? Keep watching to find out the details. As usual, we have to start from the beginning to explain where he got his money from. Do you want to learn how to make $10,000 a month online? If yes, click the first link in the description and take your first step towards financial freedom. As a young adult, he pursued many different callings. Among these, he worked a hard labor farming job, won $500 for designing a short video game called Blastar, and sold computer parts. He also used his apartment to host parties to pay for his tuition and costs of living. Things got interesting, though, when Musk was accepted into Stanford. Despite its prestige, Elon instead saw a better future in basing his work on the Internet, a wise decision at the time. In 1995, Musk founded a company which provided maps, guides, and other instructions to newspapers. This is where his signature style would begin to show. To create his company, Musk and his brother Kimball took $28,000 from their father. The resulting company was called Zip2, and its service was online-based, capitalizing on the power of the Internet. In 1999, the company, fairly successful, was purchased by computer part distributor Compaq. This deal elevated Musk to millionaire status, as it earned him 22 big ones. Musk would go on to immediately invest $12 million into X.com. Not to be confused with the game series, this was one of the first online banking services. The company experienced rapid success, merging with Confinity in 2000 to become PayPal, the company we all know today. In 2002, PayPal would be purchased by eBay, earning Musk $180 million. Before this, he acted as CEO of PayPal for a while. Notably, he advised against accepting eBay's offer. With $180 million in his pocket, Musk immediately invested it all into further business, again. $100 million went into SpaceX, $70 million to Tesla, and $10 million to SolarCity, which was a less notable project than the aforementioned two, and merged with Tesla later. In an interview, Elon famously claimed that he was left completely broke. He had to borrow money just to pay his rent. And yet, SpaceX and Tesla were incredibly successful, earning Elon the reputation, wealth, and influence we know him for today. So the question is, why did he constantly invest in new businesses over his career? Here's the surprising answer. Elon isn't a genius investor, and he doesn't have any strategy, at least not in regards to this, beyond a knack for trends. Both of his early businesses focused on online operation, and both offered previously unseen services. Elon was well aware of how powerful a platform the Internet was at the time. These days, it's far easier to start an online business, and it's far easier to succeed with one as well. Each investment Elon made was a major risk, but he was determined to try it. This same blind determination led to him dumping most of his money into SpaceX, Tesla, and SolarCity. Just like how he believed the internet businesses of yore would succeed, he had great faith in the goals of the above companies and in their ability to help humanity solve major problems. One thing you'll notice with Musk's line of work is that it's always innovative. We can summarize that Musk wasn't making entirely logical decisions when he made these investments, and the same can be said of starting his previous businesses. 
the groundbreaking and developmental nature of those fields, and as of late, constant support from the media and social media. To compound this, we can look at one of his latest projects, The Boring Company. While other entrepreneurs are content with raking in profits, every single business Musk starts has to herald some form of innovation. The Boring Company sold amusing products like hats and flamethrowers, yes, really, to its customers, but its real objective was none other than underground travel. This company seeks to erect large, incredible, efficient underground tunnel networks that would ease transit around and between cities. They've already established a test tunnel and are currently working on a project in L.A. and proposing others. By looking at his media activity and previous business decisions, we can conclude that Elon Musk is fueled primarily by his passion for the work he does and his desire to help humanity. While it's admirable to see a man invest so much of his earnings into the future, an important question is whether or not it's wise to follow in his steps. The answer? Probably not. If you have the cash to spare for a major investment, it's usually better to pool it in over time as opposed to instantly pledging all your money. It's also worth noting that all of Musk's major investments were for trending and innovative businesses. Both the internet-based businesses he started with and the ones he currently indulges in are very topical and modern for their times. So to recap, Musk invested all of his money, several times even, because he always chose popular and innovative concepts that he thought would be accepted. He had a major passion for the fields of work he selected, and all of them were selected to benefit humanity over the long run. He knew that potential success would always rake in major profits and probably had backup strategies if he ever failed. After all, the only time he was ever indebted was for his first ever business, and that was his father's money. While he didn't hesitate to make himself broke, Musk never compromised himself with his decisions. As such, while his actions are inspiring, it's usually better advice to maintain a clear mind at all times when doing business. Don't forget to click the first link in the description to learn how to make $10,000 a month online. Please like this video and help us reach more future billionaires just like you. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss our next video on Gary V's social media domination. Click on the videos flashing on your screen and feed your billionaire brain with more knowledge. Thanks and have a great day.